Well, good day there, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. It's a beautiful day here today up at the Off Grid Homestead. Uh, we've been getting some real nice weather here lately, which is a real blessing here for what all we're doing and whatnot. A uh, bit of a win today, surely, but uh, we're grateful nonetheless. Uh, today we're working on the workshop here again, uh, our little restoration project here, or what have you. She's coming along just beautifully, super happy with how everything's going. And uh, today we're gonna work on the floor. Got a little bit of structural work to do there first. And then uh, we're gonna get right on the floor. Now this is my biggest issue at this point, so it'll be great to get it fixed up. I have a pretty good idea in my head about how we're gonna do things here, but we'll have to see how it goes and whatnot. So yeah, it should, it should be fun here, guys. Uh, let's get right at her. Thanks for watching. Okay, well, here she be for all the new friends and whatnot. Uh, you'd see I got some more lumber there story on that and uh, have a quick look inside while well, I got her cleaned up nice still need a doorknob surely but uh, yeah so I got everything in here it rained a bit there so I was worried about the insulation quite a bit of daylight in the roof here yet still but looks like she's pretty good I should have laid her the other way probably would have been better off but uh, yeah, so there's quite a bit to do here. We got most of our structural problems fixed up here pretty good. Yes, that was our biggest. Got it fixed, but um, you see here, I don't like how these walls are held together. You see, it had all kinds of braces on there. Uh, but uh, see, there really should be a board here to tie these two walls together. It's pretty well just relying on the top plate overlap there. And then it was relying on the braces there as well. But I figure I better put a board in there on this wall here and then uh, nail my walls together better. Now our big problem here is the floor. Now the reason for that is because uh, I, I'm not liking this floor here. It's good and solid. It's not particularly straight. Now uh, you can see here it's going to be a real bugger to insulate this the way it's at and it really should be insulated. The, the big issue here is because this is an old granary and it had a hell of a lot of weight in it it's got a bit of a bow to her you see it's not quite perfectly straight this corner is what's it's what's bad so like she's she's in real nice shape for her age there's no two ways about it you see here like it was always kept off the ground here nice on these old skids and you can see she's in good shape but uh, the big problem is here, this has been moved before I moved it, and it's been moved poorly. You can see, that's a rock or something, took out them, them ones, and uh, I got the same issue here on the other side. This is the worst of it. So imagine this one is broken, yes, so that's not good. Now uh, I should get some weight on there, but that'd be about impossible to straighten out, and then you'd still have a bugger of a problem with with insulation there, so uh, I'm just gonna put a floor frame right on top of the old floor, see if I can't get it leveled up, and then uh, I'll, I'll be adding some height, which is fine, because we got lots of it. So I'll lay it right on top of the old two by sixes. You know, most of this f floor is still in real good structural shape, but just that corner I don't like. And it's a little bit here, a little bit, not too bad. I had originally picked up lumber, and uh, like uh, just all the two by fours I was gonna use on the floor, and uh, I bought I bought two 16 footers and eight 12 footers, but I didn't realize at that time that I was gonna be using these 12 foot boards on the floor, so it's not that's not good. So I want to do it in one solid piece, so that I don't have to worry about cutting them into two pieces and going you know a 12 foot and then a two foot piece that's not nearly as structurally sound. I took, I'm gonna take back all that old lumber that I had bought. Have I bitched about lumber prices enough yet? But it, it was quite expensive, so I was gonna return it because I, I don't wanna do it that way anymore. Now, I just talked to Gramps, and uh, he has a pile, had a pile of old stuff there. He said, just been sitting here rotting. So uh, he said that I could just, just take it, but I'll pay him for it, you see? Um, he's had this stuff here for, I don't know, years and years. So it's been just sitting in the shed. He says, no one's using it. You might as well use it. So I said, right on. So I got some 14 foot 
It took, uh, it's only gonna take nine two by fours. They're all 14, 14 footers. And then I have four two by sixes there as well for my walls. I'm gonna pay him for this stuff and I'll probably pay him what lumber prices used to be. And he would have paid less for that years and years ago. So it works out great for all parties, you know, because he says he's got no use for it. So this is, this is all going to work out real good here because uh, I already have the insula. I'm going to do it 24 on center because I already have the 24 inch centers because I already have two kinds of insulation. I'm not getting three. And then uh, I'm also going to use these rough cut planks. They're two by eights. They're solid and lay them on top. And uh, that way, uh, I didn't have to pay lumber tax on these either, these rough cuts that were around. So it, it's gonna work out real nice. It's not gonna cost very much to do at all. So uh, we're, gonna, we're avoiding lumber tax like the plague here. So it's, it's real great. I'm real happy about it. See, some of these have bends in them and I'm just gonna put them in the center. And it'll be good. So I'll haul them over there and get it right out of here. So, just getting our boards cut here like to get this done right straight away there and then on to the next thing so i'm going to get two out of this one which is good so i'll save a board but she has nails in her see if i can get away from that these aren't very big at all In this new skill saw so far it's surely it's not the most powerful saw being cordless but uh, she cuts real nice and it's deadly convenient because I just plug the batteries there into my truck with a little inverter charge them right here no generator no gas it's top notch <laughs> yeah so no, it's going great. I'm happy I got it. Walls aren't very high in this building. No worries there. It's got a nice high, uh, you know, with the cathedral ceiling, it's it's plenty high. It's got a pretty good pitch to her. Yeah, she's a beauty. I, I quite enjoy using it. See how this goes here. I got those nails I toenailed in on the top that are just going to be in the road a bit, so that should do it. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect fit right there, you know, we're looking real good. So that'll really help tie our walls together here. Now, uh, all I'm going to do here, see I got to nail her in here and then nail it into her top and bottom plates, which will hold it to this wall and then which will tie to this wall. So I got all four cut here, but uh, we'll just get them nailed in here. Make sure I'm all the way back. So that's going good. Make sure we get this cinched up all the way. Yeah, that's beautiful. So we'll just nail the piss out of them. I'm really gonna send them through on the sides. And also, I don't have any spikes to go through there. I might, I, I actually have some four inch ones I'll put in on this side through the top. These are three inches. Put it right through the top, as sturdy as can be. I'm only single on this other side, so just three inch will be just perfect. So we'll get her done here, guys. Okay, so I got that all set up here, good. And that's real sturdy there now. We pretty well got all our issues figured out now. We just got to work on this floor here. So what I'm going to do is cut two, 12, and then two, 14, not quite, and build her frame. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Be good to go. She'll be a beauty. That'll, it's just gonna work great here. Shouldn't be too bad to get her all put together here. It is gonna be tricky nailing because we don't got much for room, but uh, we'll manage just fine. 
Should be pretty good by the end of it. I'm not entirely sure how all well this is gonna work out here just quite yet, but we'll see how she goes. Now it's no worries, cause I'm gonna nail all these in all the way on the outside and they're not going anywhere. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So, uh, I've put her all the way around. You see here and I've got my frame built. Now this is gonna lift up here in the corner where it's, where it's bad there. So we're gonna nail it right in to all the, all the studs and the bottom plate and whatnot. So what we'll have to do here, hell of a win today. What we're gonna have to do here is uh, grab the level and level this off. So uh, I can't go a day here without doing some really stupid shit. You wouldn't believe what I've done here. So Gramsci told me that we're 14 footers, so I can't, they're 12 footers, so they're not gonna work, eh? But it's the way she goes. I had two 16s, so I just started here. Now he found some 16s and I only need five of them. So he's got that now and uh, I'm just going to, he's headed up this direction anyway, so I'm gonna meet him halfway. It's not gonna be too bad and I'm gonna pick up them 16 footers. So uh, I do not know how in how I didn't realize that them were them were twelve footers. Like that is just it's beyond me actually. It's entirely my fault. So I I don't know. Oh, that's perfect. So that's just tragic. But uh, it's it's not a, too big of a deal. We might have nailed her here. I'm down close here. Like nearly perfect. I'm gonna struggle to get this any much better, tell you the truth. Like she is, she is just near perfect. Once we put our boards here and we have a couple joists that aren't perfectly straight or whatever else, or it shifts around in the process. Like I'm not gonna play the game of millimeters, so. do here now is nail it into every single joist or keep buggering those two up I am going to nail it all the way around to the bottom plate and to the to all every stud now that'll be just damn sturdy now I didn't even like it looks worse you see these two here are broken so it wants to lift off here now you see we're lifting it up in the corner but the brunt of our weight is sitting on the nice level, good part of the studs. And we'll take the weight off there. Shouldn't have any more problems with that sinking down. Now I think that sunk down just a tad when we moved it, but it's not too bad. See, I'm gonna nail, once I lay these, cause the old joists, they run this way, right? And we're gonna run these this way so I can run the 12 foot board straight across. It's just gonna be, that's why I don't wanna do it the other way, cause then I'm gonna have to do it in two pieces, not near as sturdy. But if I nail these in, and then nail our, our nail our, um, our boards going across straight into the floor, into the old joist, like she is just gonna be damn sturdy. And we're not gonna have much of a, we're not gonna have much of a lift here at all. It's gonna be two inches more than that. And uh, that's a nice thing to have the nice big door. Like I got plenty of headroom. So this is just gonna work great, guys. So we're gonna nail her in all the way and then go pick up the joists for our, the two by fours from Gramps there. Shouldn't take us too badly long. That's, I, I am pretty upset about that. That was just pure stupidity on my behalf, but well, it's no worries, guys. We'll keep giving her. I had to put these big four inch spikes through the through the studs, because they're big two by sixes, right? And then she's never going anywhere. And then I'll put three inches down through the bottom plate all the way around. These are proper spikes here.
Okay, one thing for damn certain is that this is never going anywhere in the history ever. I just nailed the piss out of her. Jeez, I would hate to be the one to ever have to take that off, tell you what. So, do have a couple holes to seal up there with some spray foam and whatnot. Particularly around the door here, a lot of this kind of broke off when I sawed her through. So I'll have to work at that a bit, I guess, too. And then we'll fix all these cracks properly when we do our siding our outside and that'll work good but okay so i'll just get these rigged up for the time being now i don't want any birds or mice running away with my insulation so that's why we're doing this come on you prick they're all sealed up here really pack her in here Love hate with this shit. Man, is it ugly to deal with, but it sure is useful. I'm gonna have to cut that back when it dries here. And, uh, you know, this stuff as well. And then, uh, I cut, I, I sealed this up, bit of a hole over there, sealed that up. And then, uh, that there. I wanted to get this so nothing was coming up from underneath and eating the insulation we're gonna put right on top here. And then I did do some, oh that's not too good there. I did do some there around the gable ends a bit, but just cause I had it and the can will just go to waste there. So I used up as much as I could, but I took it easy around the gables here cause I, I'm not all that sure how my windows are gonna, my windows are gonna go in there. And then uh, I'm definitely gonna have some patchwork to do those. Some of those holes are just too big for spray foam. So we get those windows figured out and then that's all we gotta do. I do not want that door closing. Okay, sounds good. Okay, just gonna mark out my studs. I've got two feet. There's not gonna be an issue with structural integrity on this floor, but uh, I already have R12 for 24 centers, so. I already got two kinds of insulation. I don't want three or it's just gonna be so wasteful. So we'll go two. And uh, I pull spray foam on me. God damn this messy stuff. But I had to make sure a stud wasn't coming through here because it's bulged up a bit, the tongue and groove. I don't want a stud there. Okay, just having a cup of coffee here. I just just got back there. That wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Uh, didn't take too long at all. You see what I got going on here? Uh, those are 16, tell you what. Maybe these are 14. Them are 14. Maybe them are the ones. <laughs> nah, no, man. See, this here new deal is a hitch extender. I just got her yesterday. It was 100 bucks on Amazon. Now, this is a pretty deadly rig there. Um, you can, uh, I bought it to haul a canoe, it was about a hundred bucks on Amazon. And you can pull those, you can pull those arms out and get her wide and then the canoe won't slide out of there. And uh, I thought it was deadly useful to haul these 16 footers too, cause that, that's pretty long to stick on the tailgate. I get a little nervous sometimes, but yeah. So she just goes into the hitch receiver, you put a pin through her and then she's pretty sturdy. You don't want to put too much weight on there. You can actually lift that up some and put it higher the, the idea there is to put it on the roof but that is not gonna reach the top of the 12 valve but anyway yeah so that's pretty cool we'll get right out of here get her we just gotta put five studs in here and then i want to nail it right into the floor and uh i'd like to get insulation and vapor barrier done today at the very least it's about 3 30 there now so we'll see how she goes i just got two more left so uh, it's looking good. It's not looking perfect, but it's looking pretty good. This is the kind of fitment I want. You could argue that's a tad too snug, but fucked if I care. Yeah, I had a bit of issue. I'm not perfect. Just on that one you're sitting on, because there's a bit of a bow to the center of her, but it's not a big deal. I'm definitely glad I didn't piss around trying to level it off perfect. Just been tacking them in to begin with here and then I'll come back and nail them all in again. 
Yeah, she's definitely not perfect here. Uh, I have to measure all these separately because she tapered off about three eighths of an inch there, which is about as expected. You know, she's 70 years old or so. So I got that one just tacked in. Like I said, I'm not entirely perfect, but I'm pretty damn perfect enough. I, all these uh, two by fours I'm using have been sitting in a pile for probably 10 years, so they are not straight. But I'm not complaining about that either, not a chance. Okay, well that's just looking damn good there now, guys. I, uh, yeah, so I put five nails through each side there. She's not going anywhere. But uh, this is great. A lot more of the old uh, weight is on the old floor than I than I would have than I would have guessed. So I actually did cut it pretty close. Couldn't come for any further down. I finished her off here and left this one shorter. That's probably even twelve. I could probably cut a piece in half, but because there's the worst bow there. I could have went sixteen easy, but I just have two by four insulation or fuck twenty four insulation, and I don't want to piss around with it. So. Once we put these big ass planks, like look at these here things. These are true two inches or nearly. We put them on there and stain them up. She's just gonna be beautiful. See, we do have a bit of a step here, but it's not that bad at all. It's gonna be about uh, four inches. Yeah, so that's nothing. So this plus another two inches, you know, that's that's nothing. So that's better than I thought as well. This is sturdy. Let's get right out the insulation here. We got to move it. Okay, so this is just R12. It's plenty good enough for the floor. Now it's kind of too bad because we have two by sixes in the walls here that I'll put R20 in and it'll be just just perfect. And that's real good insulation. But I, I'll only be able to put R12 in the roof because they're two by fours. Now I'm not putting foam insulation or anything else. This is my favorite to use, it's cheap and uh, cheaper. But uh, this is, a, the thing about this is, I only have R12 in my cabin, okay? All two by four walls, floors, the whole deal. And uh, it works perfect with the wood stove in there of that size. You're easily keeping it warm all through the night. Quite often it's too hot and that's a bigger structure than this one. So it's too damn bad because it would be nice to have all the same and everything, but it's gonna work just perfectly. So it's no worries, man. I got much bigger ones. So, and we'll get right at her. Uh, I think this covers 150 square feet. Now we're 12 by 14 here. 154, sorry. So we'll, we'll probably make her out here all right. We'll see how she goes. Oh yeah, boys. So, do with uh, the bad insulation here. Do all my big pieces first. See, we want her nice and fluffy in there and tucked up good to our corners, okay? Now, this fiberglass insulation is at its best when it's good and puffy like this. If you scrunch it up, it loses its it loses its value. So I'm kind of risking it here, putting all this in here before we got the roof on her. But I just got to give her. I got to get all this stuff done, and uh, I think I think my roofing should be here in a couple days. I hope, and we'll have to see how that goes. Got a tin roof coming for it. I've never put one of them in before, so we'll have to see how all that goes. And uh, yeah, um, it might be a bit of a cluster, but should be good. See, this floor insulation is the least important, but it's still important. And I didn't like the floor how it was. This is just, I'm so happy about everything here. But uh, yeah, we'll get right out of you know, put all the big pieces in first and then deal with the small ones. And we gotta get our ass in gear here so we get the vapor barrier on because if it does rain and we have the vapor barrier on it, it should protect our insulation. 
this gets rained on, no good. Feel the rain in the air, so I'm really ripping here. But uh, this is going just beautifully. So, um, it's working good. So if I, this is, we're just gonna cut in a bag here, I think. So, I never use a measuring tape on this because you don't have to. See, I wanna butt the end right up, and then if I cut, Right at the center of the stud, give myself about three quarters of an inch extra. I find it works about perfect. See, I've gotten a little over there, but see that? Now, just get her in here. Okay, that's looking good. That's perfect. Okay, so now. We gotta cut this one out. And this worked good. So I just mark with my hand. Cut it pretty straight. You got a bit of room for air there. Better to have a little bit too much than not quite enough. But you see that's worked out just just great there now. So now we have to close off all the ends. And I've started at the far end so I don't have to walk on it so I walk on the joists get my insulation anyway but uh okay sorry I'm kind of in the road here but see if we line it up like that that's where we want to go that's where our old insulation is mark right about where my finger is get her somewhat squared up beautiful now she should just can you see me all right? Pardon me. Should just pop right in there. And we're good to go. Just beautifully. So we'll keep repping here. How's that looking? So, get over here, about there. Okay, we're coming along here real nicely, guys. See, this is why we always want to start with our big pieces and then quite often there's scrap that works out. Not particularly on this one because we don't have much of it, but once we get up there and do it all kinds of the little pieces, then it'll be certainly better that way. Oh shit. Okay, so got the first sheet on there. Now it's time for the next sheet. This is an eight foot by I think 32 foot roll or something. So, I haven't done a very good job cutting this. Okay, that's pretty good there. Measured out too. Now I just gotta find my X-Acto knife. It was right here in front of me. So, I want to cut this now, and uh, I certainly want to give myself some extra. Now this is doubled up, eh? Okay. So, yeah, I give myself a few inches extra, you know, just in case or whatever. There she be. So we're good to go there now guys. Now uh, I think you can get a 12 foot roll eh? and then would be able to just do this in one section. The problem I had is that uh, everything else is just 8 foot would work the best. So I'm going to do an overlap. Now I did it this way because otherwise I'm 8 and 4 is way too much than seven and seven in a healthy overlap. So it uses less um, vapor barrier to do it this way. And it gives us a nice good seal here on our overlap. So 
We're going to unfold all this. Now I used to hate doing this, but I've done it enough now I don't mind it too bad. So we'll come and we'll tack our corners here. So we'll kind of pull it pretty good and tight, but not stupid. Okay. in this side you see we're overlapping it oh we're overlapping it a lot yeah that is a lot more than I really tack in all these corners here okay did well there looks like I made out all right now I have to seal our overlap and all the outsides so I'm just very lenient with the staples here can you even see me That'll be better. So I'm very lenient with my staples because every single one of them is another is another failure point. And when we nail our floor in, it's gonna hold it good. It's not going anywhere. So we're just gonna nail to these. Now I want to seal up this overlap. So give myself lots of room. We'll pull our snug. Fucking wind today, eh? Now I'll come over here. And nail these spaciously. The vapor barrier, you have to seal it up all, all around there. So you can either use this stuff, which is acoustical sealant, or uh, blue tuck tape. Has to be blue though. And uh, yeah, so what we want to do here, this is why I've left, this is why I've left a piece here, is I'm just going to run it alongside here. Better be looking at it and looking for it, so I put it on there thick, and we're just gonna seal it up the whole way. So I'm just going right on the inside of this 2x4, putting it on heavy, and then I'm gonna come back and tape it up. Okay, so we got all the way around there. Now, what I like to do is come through here and tape it on. So I just, I guess I can just bend that around the corner. Now, by putting this tape on, that's why I cut it back, okay? So I have something to, to tape it to there. And then you push that tape down, it seals it up even better, and it, it pushes down that bead of of acoustical sealant we just put on here so you get just a, a, a tremendously good seal so I like to do it this way because it hardly costs anything more and I think it's just the best way to do it okay so we got all that done and she's looking just beautiful that went real smooth I've done that vapor barrier enough times now I'll get a good feel for it and whatnot uh, I have plenty of overlap there. You could call it too much, but it's just how it worked out. See, I still have plenty left on that roll, and that'll be used for these walls, which are all, you know, eight footers and whatnot. So it'll be good. And uh, well, they're not eight footers, but it'll work the best with the eight foot roll. So that's why I did that. And uh, this is just probably, yeah, it's, it's good work. Yeah, looking good here. Um, I'm gonna start here on the boards. There's some big, heavy-duty boards, boys. So I got to pick out straight ones here to an extent and uh, just start nailing them. It's going to work out beautifully. Just one piece and slap them on there and make hay. You can see I'm getting a good start out of there now. She's going along real pretty nice here. Uh, I've got two, four, six, eight, about a third of the way done maybe a little more so it looks like i'm gonna have just enough boards a couple extra 
Um, and that'll all be good. I'll show you some of that tomorrow. It's getting pretty dark. I can hardly see in there. I'm nailing at this point. So all right against the tin here. Peel her all off. Oh, so I clean up all this shit too. Chickens are kind of funny, man. They like to come out in the dark or right about this time. And they kind of stay inside a lot of the other time. They're funny little buggers. So I'm just gonna cut this all back. I have to clean that up too. Okay, so that's that's all pretty good there now. Um, yeah, so we still got a hell of a lot to do tomorrow. Oh my, just catching there, Tad? On this. Oh fuck it, it'll wear off. Anyway, yeah, she's coming along here just beautifully, guys. This is going real well, and we got ourselves a damn sturdy floor here now and uh this is working good we'll have to show lots of this here tomorrow and uh whatnot oh fuck nearly died so you see here i was a little worried about this step being too much but it's, it's real fuck all there actually because with the bottom plate here you know you're Oh, back to cabin there now. It's time for dinner. All right, so I'm just having dinner out here on the wood soap, and I'm dead, dead fucking tired. Had a great day today. I got everything I wanted to get done pretty well, and uh, that was good. A little slight inconvenience there, but no worries. Um, I'm having dinner. I've broke my plate, and I keep forgetting to grab another one. So here we are eating out of the cast iron frying pan. Now, I have... Two cans of chicken noodle soup. This chunky stuff, it's good shit. Oh, sorry, bud. You get some too, I guess. So you just put it right on top of the bread there. Doggy likes... Oh, sorry, bud. You lick the can out. He likes to do that. Oh, yeah. She's a beauty, boys. I might need some more bread there. So we're going to eat here. And be right back at her tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, so, I'm just cutting them off the stack here. Now, I need to be somewhat particular about these. Because, like, if I have a bend to them like this, fine. Uh, as long as, like, if I got a bend here, my whole floor is going to be fucked. So, uh... See this here one, she's got a chunk it out of her at the bottom. But uh, it shouldn't too, be too bad. I think I like that side better than I like this side. Now the beauty of these is they're solid and they were cheap. Particularly in comparison to uh, like uh, like the dimensional lumber and stuff, being the rough cuts and, and stuff. Now you have to be damn careful with these because they have a tendency of wanting to shrink. Like when I put those ones in the cabin, and I think a big part of it, I think a big part of it was that I put them in there uh, in the winter time, they were froze right up and they might've come right from the sawmill in the winter time, right? Cause they're just for agricultural purposes and matters of the sort. So uh, I think they come right from the sawmill, stay frozen, then shrunk. So. I know for a fact that these ones have been in a bundle for, I think, at least eight months. So they've been drying out here. They shouldn't really shrink. If they shrink a tad, you know, no worries. But I don't want big cracks in my floor. So, see how it goes. Now, we should have just enough. Hopefully, we don't have to use any. There's a few shitty ones in here, surely. And hopefully I don't have to use any of them. So these are all 134 inches. So. So 
skill saw does a real nice job of them. I'm loving it. And uh, both of my, uh, like these are hefty boards. Both of my batteries are working right now, so I'm pretty sure it's just my battery charger, but could be a combination of both. You know, I've had those batteries, use them a long time, so. Okay, so our floor is coming along just beautifully here, guys. So, fuck. We'll get them set in here. Now, just a tad too long is no worries, or too short, just maybe an eighth of an inch. Now, we gotta be careful, like this has to be straight. I do not want to crack there. I have one very small manageable crack, just a couple, but so far I'm doing real good. They're all they're all nice, and I'm buttoning them right up as close as I can because it's very possible they shrink. Uh, so now whether we're nailing a board, a piece of plywood, or putting the head back on the 12 valve, you always want to start from the center because you see these have been sitting in a pile, and there's there's a bit of a bend to her. Now if we start in the center, we can relieve the stress out of it. If we start from one side to the other, not quite as good. If we come like this, then we're fucked. So these are four inch spikes here. And I'm just going two per. Make sure we keep her butter right up. I just go on two per because otherwise I'm gonna start splitting things. These are pretty solid nails. And uh, so we'll just nail, I'm going to every stud and on the, uh, on the outside too, on the joist or whatever you want to call them. So they're all pretty good, same thickness and whatnot too. Uh, we're getting a real nice floor here, so I'm, I'm happy about it, I, I really am. So, we'll keep nailing these on. We gotta be somewhat careful. I'm not sure how straight I'm going this way. I'm not too concerned. If I have to taper off the last board, then so be it. But we'll just keep giving her here, guys, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're getting there. Now, I have to make sure I'm coming in somewhat straight. I have an inch of leeway because if I have a bit of a crack here, my walls on the, on the, my stuff on the walls is gonna cover that up. But I gotta make sure I'm not entirely out to lunch. So I'm 22 and it got a little bit over on that side. Oh, I'm coming in damn good, boys. I got about an eighth of an inch more on this side. See, I've overcorrected. I thought it was coming in a tad this way, so I was putting my cracks on that end to try and square it off. But actually, I got a crack on this one, and what I'll do here is just pull it over. We should have this. See, I have to pull quite a few of these straight now. This is a bit of a trick. So what I like to do is pull her up then drive this nail on an angle back and we'll pull it right up. So we're going to be so damn close it's not going to be worth worrying about. Like I'm not going to fuck around with an 8 to 7 inch. But if I have 22, that's going to work out good because what we don't want is a 1 inch or 2 inch strip here. So I'll go uh, this one and then 8 and I'm left with 14, and then I'll go eight, and then I'll have to cut one to six. So we need three more boards here, and it's gonna work out nice. See, I don't wanna be ripping them down too small. It won't be solid. It's work out beautiful. Okay, boys and girls, well, here she be. The last board. Let's see if she goes. Don't fucking even joke around with this here and she better go. You know what they say, if she don't fit, if she don't fit, you gotta make her fit, partner. I don't really wanna rip that again. Here for fuck 
Heat. Set to give her a few love taps and she's good to go. We're a little tight, <laughs> but it's no worries. I just do have a bit of a crack here. I was running low on boards there and we got into some shittier ones. Now, this is the definition of madness because I'm two, I'm four nails too short here, but pretty sure that board's not going anywhere. So I got to tell you, I was a little concerned about how all this was going to go together. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to be uh, like how it was all going to go, putting the fl floor frame on top and doing it this way and then using these boards. I was worried about a few things. I'm about to smoke my head on this beam one day, but yeah, she's uh, she worked out just great. Couldn't ask for any better. Sure, I'm not gonna try and tell you it's perfect, because surely to God it's not. Like, this is this is just not a perfect structure. It's not perfectly square, it's not perfectly straight. None of that matters. So, <laughs> I was worried about this step. That's real mild. I'll have to trim this tuck tape back so it doesn't look shitty. And, uh, oh, fuck yeah. This is a damn solid floor, boys. Like, holy Jesus. Because we put these straight across, and these are solid ass boards. With the two by fours that's on top of the old frame and nailed to the outside, like, she's gonna last us a real, real long while here. And I plan to get quite a bit of use out of this building, actually. I think it's gonna be very useful for quite a while, so it's gonna be good here. I'm going to uh, stain her up now. We'll just get right at her. That'll take a while. These rough cut boards are rough and they got all kinds of cracks, so it takes a while to do that, but it'll be good to do. Okay, so being that this is a, a workshop and more importantly a skinning shack, the last thing we're concerned about is how the floor looks. Like it's going to take a beating and it's never really going to be clean. But uh, we are concerned about preserving the wood so it lasts as long as we can and we're too cheap to buy stain. So here we go. Everyone who's been around here a minute will know what I'm about to do. So you see my cabin, I guess the outhouse too is uh, stained with this here and it's used 1540 out of the 12 valve and uh, diesel, about half and half, but I don't know how well I've mixed this. Now, uh, it's hard to m mix two batches exactly the same I find because I just eyeball it, but it has a lot to do with how long you leave the oil in the truck and how, how, uh, how dark it turns, you know? So we'll see how we did here, but uh, Okay, should be all right anyway. Oh, she's pretty dark. Seems seems to be all right. Just grab a piece of scrap here. If it's dark, I don't give a shit what color it is. So we'll just have to see, you know, how we did here. Oh, she's pretty dark, all right. That's closer to what I had in the, on the outhouse. I think this stuff was in the truck 8,000 kilometers, which is a little longer than I like to. I don't know how well I did on mixing my 50-50 my, uh, my, uh, ratio. It's pretty guess and check. Very guess and check on this one. I think it's good here. It'll lighten up as it dries, surely. We do this for free, it works great. It really does, it really, it like, you wouldn't believe how good it works. Uh, once again, people ask about the smell. Um, now, I put it on the outside of my cabin the next day, or a couple days, it was just completely odorless. Now, the inside of the outhouse took a little longer, but it's still all the same. You won't smell it after a short period of time. It, it, it just, it, it's too good to be true how we're good this works. It is gonna be pretty dark, but as we, you know, step on the floor, it'll uh, kind of wear down. 
you know, I've seen that on my ladder a bit. And uh, so it'll be just beautiful here, guys. So we'll get right at her. Okay, well, my lighting's just dog shit in here, but. Anyways, uh, we're ripping here. Uh, not too much to say about this. It's pretty straightforward. But uh, yeah, it's staying up nice. All these boards staying up different depending on them. There's a nice look to it. Just gonna be a real beauty here. But uh, you see how much, I just lay it on there thick. Now these, these rough cut boards t take a hell of a lot of stain. They really absorb a lot there. They're, you know, they've got a rough texture. And there's all kinds of cracks and crevices. So it takes a lot more stain and it would cost you a hell of a lot more than you might think. Like I'm probably gonna use at least 10 liters of stain here to cover it. Now that's quite a bit of money. I think it's a four liter is 50 bucks or so. So I'll let you know, but I, I bought this stain brush a while ago, it was $20 and it was money well spent. Like uh, you can really rip along here nice with this one. And so I would highly recommend. It was definitely money well spent for me. So I'm about halfway done. It doesn't take too long, but I really layer on there thick and get good coverage. It's pretty dark now, it'll lighten up some, and when we walk on it, it will definitely lighten up uh, and wear it down. And then if we ever, I've only ever put one coat of this stuff. Um, it seems to do all right. I noticed it lightened up on my ladder. I'm not concerned about that, but if it, uh, if it needs recoding, then no worries. You know, takes us fuck all time and zero money, so. Okay, well, look here, boys and girls. All done with her. Oh man, she's a beauty. This, it doesn't, it doesn't like to, the lighting in here, surely, but I just stained that up to hide my chainsaw work there too, boys. She's right on. What a beauty. You know, she was just sitting there rotting away, bound to fall over at that pace, and we're giving her new life here, so it's a real, it's a real nice deal there. Uh, I don't know when my roofing is gonna come in there. I hope pretty quick, but uh, this is just gonna work great. I'm not saying it's the prettiest or perfect structure. It might not be for a damn long time, if ever, but it's gonna be work damn good here. So what I figure I'm gonna do, put storage racks here and here, maybe about halfway, store tools, all kinds of shit, and then do put the wood stove probably in that far corner or this one, who knows and then uh, do my fur processing over there. If I have to figure out where to hang furs and put the flushing beam and I should have a little bit of a workbench with a vise on there. I deadly need a vise and I don't even have one. So anyway, it's gonna be a real beauty. It's good for space. We're gonna pack her full of shit, but she's a uh, you know, pretty spacious little rig here. It's gonna be a beauty of a workshop. Uh, still got no progress on the wood stove. Gotta get that figured out. Gotta get windows figured out. I'd like to anyways. And then, uh, Insulation take us piss all time and we'll see how uh, we'll see how the tin roofing goes But uh, yeah, just sods and sods here now. It's not too much going on here today We're not at quite a rate there. So we're gonna clean up here It's gonna clean up cabin and stuff there and clean up around here and then we'll have to take back all this these boards and stuff that we didn't use so I used 21 of these big ones 20 on the floor right on the dot and one on my header kind of deal there and then uh, I guess I only used five of those boards that grabs gave me so i'd go take all them back and all them back and got some lumber to return those one by sixes i bought by accident i think will be good for my strapping here so i can i can probably set it on the rafter and then go right flush and then be able to do it that way but i'll have to grab a measurement on that so i can bolt it in right flush we'll see how it goes there uh got some figuring there to do on the tin roof because i've never done it before but it's going great guys can't tell you how happy i am with this here old beauty Man, got her all loaded up there. Everything. Uh, we are going. We have to take lumber back to all different kinds of places. You see, I got her loaded up there, but I mosey on over to grandparents and drop this off for grabs. I only use five boards, I guess, eh? Or no, I use those two 12 footers too. Okay. So that'll be good. We got that all sorted there. Now we'll see if this hitch receiver thing is worth a shit because I'm gonna, she's rougher than hell. 
Anyways, um, got cab cleaned up. It's tough. Like, I get her pretty cleaned up, do dishes and shit. But I got so many tools laying around that are all, you know, supposed to be in workshop. So, it'll work out good. I can't wait to get all my stuff organized in there. She is a beauty. So, I fucked around with that faucet again. I just bypassed the switch there and put power straight to the pump and it's working. So I can jimmy that up, just put another switch on there, but that would be kind of inconvenient and ugly. You know, it's just the switch on the faucet that's jimmy. So uh, I think I think they should send me a new one. Like it lasted a week. It's not my problem. So we'll see how that goes. It's pissing me off because it's real inconvenient to do dishes. But uh, anyways, we gotta get her sorted on wood stove here and be ready to do our tin roofing and stuff. Like these are priorities. We gotta get her dry in there. You know, before we get any kind of stupid rain or something, that wouldn't be any good. Should be here Friday, I don't know what day today is. And then, uh, what else? Yeah, wood stove. Now, I gotta find myself a decent one. Also gotta find myself a canoe. And then I should get some storage racks or build them, I don't know. I seen them on sale P Auto pretty cheap. So, we'll see how that all goes. Me and Coog's man, off to the races. Yeah, so we're heading over to grandparents and it's conveniently supper time. And it's, uh, well it will be by the time we get there. And uh, that's no coincidence, partner. We're eating well tonight. So anyways, she's going just beautifully with this project. We're giving her a new life, boys. Gonna be able to get her down pretty good, pretty good time, pretty good money. So she'll be, uh, she'll be a real beauty. I can't wait to get her in production. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope everyone's doing just great.